Good. Okay. So then I guess we are complete, right, Lou? Okay, then we can start. Today will be our last class on the library topic. Okay, so today we will take this class to think about the words that we learned with our movie scene and with our text. And then I also want to think with you about what helped you to understand the text and what helped you when you watched the movie. Okay, so we will try to think about ways that will help you also with other texts and movies later on. Okay, all right. So I will start to share my screen now. Uh, let's see. I think, yeah, this is the right one. Okay, so our school library topic, one last time. Okay, so last week, oh, sorry, uh, I mean two weeks ago, we talked about different new words in the fantasy category and in the adventure category and in the horror category. Okay, so scary things. And then we started, so we had the movie and the text. And then we started to collect new words here in this whiteboard. Okay, so this here, what you can see, everything, that is what we call a whiteboard. Okay, and those little yellow pages, we call those post-its. So when I said, please, please write on the post-it, this is what I meant. So I meant the little yellow page. And usually we say we drag a post-it to the right category. Okay, so when I say, ah, which new word did you learn? Please write it on the post-it and drag it to the right category. I mean, so write it in here and pull it or drag it to the movie category or to the text. Okay, so I hope that is clear and now uh, I would like to think about uh, some new words together with you and go back to this page one more time so we can all meet there. I hope that it'll work this time also for Ryan and Dylan, but we'll, we'll just have a look, okay? And we'll see if it's going to work out. So let me see, I will, um, I will share my screen again. Uh, let me see. First, I will send you the link so you can also join. Let me see here. Okay, so here's the link for you for the whiteboard. And I will also share my screen one more time so we can all have a look at how it's changing. Okay. So I've seen that some of you have been uh, have been using this whiteboard and have been trying. Uh, here's some things. Yes, that's great. So I'm hoping it'll work. Let's see, Ryan, can you use the whiteboard now? Oh, and and I can't hear you, Ryan. If you're saying something, I can't hear you. Ryan, Ryan, Hueda. Hmm? Ryan. Can you say that again? Ah, okay, yeah, I can. So, can you use the whiteboard now, Ryan? Do you, does it work now for you? Can you see it? 
，no。Ryan 要去点那个连接，要去点那个连接。你有没有点连接？然后弹出一个视窗。那、啊、你要在那个有,有啊？你要在那个那个立贴那边写单字，然后拖曳上去。嗯。How about you, Dylan? I don't know. 啊，你你你没有跟爸爸讲是啊？没有试试看。嗯。嗯 ，OK, but I guess you can still see it though on on my screen, right? Because I'm sharing it. So you should. Be able to see it in our call, the whiteboard, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So, and Barry and Bruce, I think you can use it, right? Because I see that someone here has typed dragons. Who was that? Was that was that you, Barry, or was it Bruce?、Uh, dragons. It's not me. I'm me too. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so somebody's working in our whiteboard. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I'm not sure then who is working on our whiteboard, but I hope that、uh, Barry and Bruce can you see the whiteboard and can you use it. Mm, yes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. So I'd say、um, we'll just take some turns. Okay. So Bruce,、uh, what new word did you learn from the text from our school library text?、Mm, it's new word. Mhm.、Mm So any 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 word that you can remember that we used in the text. Uh, is research. Ah, very good. Okay, could you please write it on one of the post-its? Okay. Thank you. To research, perfect. Yes, and then please drag it to the text category. Yes, you can write your name. That's perfect. Okay, thank you, Bruce. All right, Barry, what new word do you remember? Also from the text, any word. Librarian.、Mm, very good. Okay. Could you please also write it on a post-it? Very good. Okay. Yeah, it was already in there. Perfect. Okay. Yes, and you can write your name、mm -hmm. behind librarian. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Barry. All right, Ryan. What new word do you remember from our text? You can tell me, and I will write it for you, and then pull it in the text category. I can write this. Oh, you! Oh, you can. Okay.、Yes. Please, yeah. Please do. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So it works. Yay! <laughs> I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> Demon. Oh, very good one. Okay. 
Yes, demons. Yeah, and that was from the movie. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ryan. You can also um, put your name in, in brackets after the word, so like Barry and Bruce did. Yes, very good. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Dylan, what new word do you remember? Haunted house. Oh, a very good one. Okay, a haunted house. Okay, can you also write yourself now in the whiteboard? No. Can you, you? No, you can't? Okay, then I will write it for you. Okay, haunted house. Very good. Okay. And that was from the movie. So I will pull it over here. Okay, Bruce. What other new word do you remember from the movie also? Mm. Overdue. Overdue. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Yes, overdue. I think that was from uh, our text, right? Overdue. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you, Bruce. And then you can pull it up to the text category. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, um, then Barry, what other new word do you remember? It can be from the text or from the movie, it doesn't matter. What new word do you remember? Uh, can can you say it again, please, Barry? Horror. Horror? Yes. Ah, okay, yes, very good. Okay, you can also write it and then uh, pull it to the right category. Hmm. I see that uh, some of our observers are having problems seeing the screen, but I hope, I'm sorry about that, but I hope that all the students are okay and can see it. <laughs> so that seems to be working. Okay, horror. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Barry. Uh, Ryan, what other new word do you remember? Graveyard. Oh, okay. Yes, a graveyard. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. You can also write it. Uh, you can, oh, there's also one left over here that you can use. Or down there. That is fine. Okay, perfect. Graveyard. Mm hmm. Very good. Okay, Ryan, and then you can, yeah, drag it to the category. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dylan, how about you? What other new word do you remember? Uh, no. Yes, very good, a knight. Okay, I will write it for you. Yeah, a knight. Also from our movie. So I will pull it over here. Okay, let's do one more round. Bruce, what other new word do you remember? I will grab some more post its here. Ah, okay, adventure. Mm hmm. 
Okay, great. Yeah, very good. Okay, thank you, Bruce. Adventure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Barry, what other word do you remember? What other word can you think of? Maybe from the text or from our movie? Evil. Oh, evil? Mm hmm. Yes, very good. Okay, evil. Yeah. Okay, you can also write that on a post it and then drag it to the right category. Oh, yeah, perfect. It's already there. Mm hmm. Evil. Very good. Okay, Ryan, how about you? Various. Mm -hmm. Can you say that again? Various. Uh -huh. Okay, can you please write it for me? Okay, fairies, yes, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't understand quite before, but yes, perfect, fairies. Okay, great, thank you, Ryan. Okay, Dylan. Okay, yes. Very good. A very important word. A fee. Mm -hmm. Very good. That was from our text. Yeah, if a book is overdue, we had that word too, then we have to pay a fee. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So, okay, we have, let's do one more round and then let's see. So, mm, let me think. What else? Um, Bruce, what does uh, the librarian need from you when you want to borrow books? What does the librarian ask of you? Check out. Mm, yes, you have to check out, but what, what do you need to have to do that? Library. Card. Yes, very good. Okay, could you please write that? Mm -hmm. Library card. Very good. Okay, thank you, Bruce. Oh, and careful, there is uh, this R after the I. We don't need that, okay? So it's L-I-B. Oh. L-I-B. Mm-hmm. Yes, perfect. Okay, thank you, Bruce. Barry, when the librarian has your library card, what does the librarian do with the library card? Uh, uh, he will screen the car. Yes, very good. And it's you can say screen or scan. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Okay. So please, yeah, can you please write that down? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. 
Um, scan. Mm -hmm. Could you please write scan down? So write it on one of the post-its. I'm down. You're down? Oh, uh, you can't see the whiteboard anymore? Or, or do you mean you're done? Wait, let me see. Maybe I didn't see it. Oh, it's over here. I'm sorry, Barry. I couldn't see it. I see it now. Yeah, to scan. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Perfect. Okay, the librarian um, asked for the library card and then she scanned the library card. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ryan. And then... Um, what do we call the computer program where you can see all the books and when a book is overdue? Do you remember that word? Database. Yes, perfect. Okay, could you please write it? I have to move this here a bit so I can see all of your post-its. Mm -hmm, a database. Okay. All right. And then we know when we have to return our book because if it's overdue, we have to pay a fee. Very good. Okay. Um, Dylan, I actually don't have any more questions, but... Um, do you remember one other word that we haven't used yet in our whiteboard? Bookshelf. Oh, very good. Okay. Can you please write that? I, oh, I you can. can. I'm sorry. Yes, I'll write it for you. Sorry. <laughs> A bookshelf. Very good. Okay. All right. Okay, so we collected a lot of words. We learned a lot of words with our library topic. I will I will take a picture of this later and send it to you, okay? So you also have this later. Okay. And then now we will um let me see. We will go back to the presentation here. Okay, very, very good work. Really nice. So we remembered a lot of words from our movie and from our text. So now here, where is the right slide? Mm, okay. So now, now that we have remembered our words, I would like to think with you about what helped you understand our text and our movie. Because there were many, many new words that probably made it hard at first for you to understand. Okay, but in the end, you could read our text and you could understand our scene. And you could even write about what will happen next. Okay, so how did you do that? So we will think about that. How could you understand it? Now, I will give you two examples. When you read a sentence in a text, and at first you don't understand, what we normally do is we read it again and then we look for the words that we do understand. Okay, so we look for the words that we do understand. Okay, the same with our movie scene. The first time we watch it, maybe we don't understand. So we watch it again a second time. And we listen, we listen closely. And maybe if we look at it again, we can understand better. Okay, these are two examples. Now, I would like 
to collect some more ideas. What else can you do? Or what else did you do to understand our text or to understand our scene? Okay, so I will, I will stop sharing just for a moment so I can write in here. Computer is a bit slow again today. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm, okay, I got it now. Okay, so these are two examples. Now, uh, Ryan, what what did you do to understand the text, maybe? OK, so you maybe you read a sentence and at first you didn't really understand. What did you do to understand it? I read again and again. Yes, mm -hmm. many times, right? OK, so we have to read it many times. OK. Read a sentence many times. Okay. And um, what else did you do, Ryan? Then let's say you read it one or two times, maybe. How could you understand then? Can you say that again? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have read a sentence many times, maybe one or two or three times. And then how did you understand? Did you do something else too to understand it? Let me let me ask it this way. What did you do with words that you that were that you didn't know how how did you learn these words what did you do i used computer to search yes very good okay so we can research new words in a dictionary maybe mhm mm dictionary so that is um, a dictionary is a, a book or maybe online um, a program that we can use to look up words mm -hmm. a dictionary. OK, very good. Um, put this here in brackets, OK, because yeah, computer program. OK, very good. Uh, Barry, what did you um, do maybe for the movie to understand it. So what could you do? What helped you to understand it? Uh, find the Chinese means in integral. Very good. So subtitles, right? In Chinese? Yes. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Very good. Yes, we can find subtitles for a film mm -hmm. in Chinese or maybe in a different language, but anything that can help you. Very good. And of course, if we have subtitles, then we can maybe also look up words in a dictionary again if we have to. Very good. OK, Bruce, what did you do? Maybe for the movie or for the text? Write vocabulary. Vocabulary. Mm -hmm. I don't know that word. Ah, OK, so you write it down? Yeah. The new word? OK. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And then I and think research yeah. led. Yeah, 
Very good. Mm -hmm. And research it. And so, Bruce, you then probably you you try to understand the sentence then probably also without this new word for at first, right? Before you looked it up. Sorry, I don't know. Mm -hmm. OK, let me say it differently. So you had a sentence and there is one word you didn't understand. So you so you write that word down, but you probably still try to understand the sentence even without this one word, right? Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm, yeah. So this is this is uh, important um, that we focus on the words uh, we can understand. OK, so it's good that we know, ah, this is one word that I don't know and I have to look up this word, but I can still try to understand the sentence even if I don't know all the words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's very important. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. OK. Um, Okay, let's see. Dylan, how about you? I read the test. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so you're many probably... Times. Oh, sorry. Yeah, many times. Mm -hmm. Yes, it helps. Also with the movie, to listen to it many times. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Dylan, did it help you when we watched the movie um, to see the face of the boy or of the librarian? Did that help you to understand? No, librarian. Mm, right? Yeah. So sometimes it helps us when we watch a film just the expression on the face. Mm -hmm. So we can look um, for um, the expression. OK, so the way the face looks for the expression on the face. Mm -hmm. So if we see uh, if they are smiling or looking very, very grim, like we know, oh, or with the librarian with horror, he looked very, very scary. Mm -hmm. So we we kind of understand through the face. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let me see what else can we do? Do you have any more ideas? Mm. Yes, I think there's also one thing that can help us to understand um, a text or a film, let me give you a hint. Um, when we look at uh, the headline, right, uh, at the title, um, that can also help us sometimes when we know, ah, okay, this will be about a library. Same here, library scene. So this can also help us sometimes just to understand um, what might happen or what the text might be about. Mm -hmm. The same is with a film title, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the title here of this scene, the library scene. OK, do you have any more ideas, Barry? Is there anything else that you do that helps you to watch a film or read a text in English that we haven't said yet?
the teacher. Ah, okay, yes, of course. <laughs> we can always ask the teacher. Very good. Yes. Okay, thank you, Barry. That is excellent. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you ask a teacher, you can also always ask a friend too, right? Someone who is also learning English with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bruce, is there anything else that you would like to add? No. Okay, Ryan, how about you? No. Okay, and Dylan? No. Okay, perfect. So, I think these are all really great ideas for you and I hope that they will help you um, when you, you know, continue to learn English and other, you know, as you go forward with other topics and other texts. So always think of this. You can always do this with any text, with any movie. So there are ways for you to help yourself to understand it. So yeah, so why, why, why did we do this right now? So just for you to help you, uh, yes, with any, with any text or film that you will have to read or watch in school. Okay, so this is always great and always helpful for you, I hope. Okay, then we are basically at the end of our class. I have one homework for you. So one homework that, um, let me make this figure, um, that I would, I would like to ask you to think about yourself, your opinion, how you liked the homework we did before. So one time I asked you to write about the movie and what you thought will happen next in the movie. That was one homework. The other homework was this worksheet and I asked you to read the text again and then do this worksheet. Now what I would like uh, to know is what was easier for you? Did you like this more or did you like writing about the movie more. Okay, and then I would like to know why, okay? So always why. Why did you maybe like to write about the movie? Or maybe you didn't and that's okay. That is absolutely okay. Maybe you didn't like it at all. And then I just like to know why, okay? The same for the worksheet. Did you like it? Then great, but why? And also, if you didn't like it, also okay, but why? Why did you not like it? And here I put some sentences for you that you can use, okay? So you can use these sentences to write about which one was easier and why. What you can also do it's just like this, okay? So you can also just put like one sentence, like a mind map here, you know, like a picture. So it, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be a whole text, right? It can just be ideas, little notes next to the picture. Okay, so this is really only about how you felt, okay? This is only about your opinion, how you felt what was easier, what was more difficult, and why. There is no wrong and there is no right. It's really only for you to think about which one you like better and which one was easier. And yeah, I would like you um, to tell me maybe next week or send it to me. You can also send it to me because next week we will talk about our new topic. Also, we will start a new topic next week. 
Okay. Um, are there any questions about the homework? <laughs> uh, can I explain it to them? Yes, of course. <laughs> 两次作业,一种是写剧情再来的发展,这是想象力的发挥,另外一种是学习单,那你们是要写你比较喜欢哪一种,为什么,就这样子, OK? So if you are um, upload the presentation right after the class, so that they can use the sentences that you provide, OK? All right, so uh, okay. do I need to send you the next text? Uh, you need uh, I, th uh, I think or you already did, Luke. It's about grocery shopping, right? Yeah, yeah, right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. All right, thank you okay. for your time. Yeah, thank you. Okay, then have a good evening. <laughs> you have a good day. Right. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, thank you. 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 Bye-bye. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. <laughs>